Hello, my dear students. Welcome to ECS 2030 for 2021. I'm Jackie, your instructor. In this tutorial series, I would like to review the Object-Oriented Programming Basics, or OOP, that you learned from your first year, either from ECS 1021, if you are from the engineering side, or ECS 1022, if you are from the CS side. Either way, I would like to bring you up to speed so that it will be smoother for you to learn about the advanced concept for the subsequent weeks. In this first video, I would like to point to you uh, all the resources, uh, especially the links, so that you can judge which ones might be useful for your learning. Some of the uh, resources, they are required for study, and the other ones are optional, but you will make the judgment. If you got any need for advice, please get in touch with me. I will tell you how to make use of the optional resources. Let me now go over the links one by one quickly, and then in the next video, we'll get started with our review by developing some complete uh, Java projects on Eclipse, which is the required tool for this course. Let me start by pointing out to you uh, this link here for EECS 2030 for 21 lecture site. This is for public access, so you don't need any login, for example, to the E-Class. It's just uh, under uh, my departmental website. You can always access that even after the course has finished. So the way to go there is simply just, you can def definitely go to the entire link if you wish, or you can simply just go to my homepage, www.ecs.yoku.ca, tell that Jackie. So, and then you can explore in the following way. Let me show to you. This is my homepage, and then you can go under lectures, and then you can see ECS 2030 under 2021 fall. Click on that, and here this page contains all the links that you will need uh, for the mandatory and optional resources. Let's now go over one by one. The first one I would like to mention is optional, and this will be my lecture recording from uh, ECS 1022, the introduction to object-oriented programming back in winter 2021. So let me show you the, uh, the page quickly and how you can make use of it. You can see under 2030, you can simply go to the background study and the lectures, right? So here I got this uh, background slides for you, either for elementary programming or for if conditionals or for loops. If you find it necessary, you can review them. Otherwise, you can skip them. And if there's any part in the slides you don't really find the explanation or the uh, details uh, making sense, you can feel free to actually click on this ECS 1022 Winter 2021 uh, lecture site. If you click on that, you will see here this uh, is the weekly breakdown for the lecture. You can simply find a relevant part for explanation by reviewing the recordings. Or you can simply get in touch with me. Either way will work for me. Okay, let me go back. And the second one is actually required. So that will be the review slides on OOP. So the slides which I will cross-reference throughout this tutorial series will be this slide over here about classes and objects. This one has a huge overlap with the uh, classes and objects uh, lecture I spoke about back in ECS uh, 1022. So I thought it would be a, a perfect resource for, you to, uh, for us to review. So I'm just go I'm not going to go into details for uh, every slide, but rather I will make reference to which slides you should really study. And then I will go ahead in the tutorial videos to further develop the projects. So you can actually see both the uh, more like a theory on the slides and also practice as you type with me in the Eclipse. So that would be uh, kind of the plan I'm having in my mind. So how can you get the slides? You will simply go again 2030 webpage you will see for week number one and week number two we will actually uh, study this tutorial series so this will be the golden opportunity for you to really study the slides and also study the tutorial videos both side by side and this is where you can download the slide you can see lecture one and here okay there might be some updates i might make uh, later but in that case you will just redownload the slides okay so that's the slides and the next one will be two written notes that are also required. If you actually took uh, 1022 with me uh, back in the winter 2021, you have already seen these two notes. However, if you haven't, that's okay. You're welcome to get in touch with me if you got any uh, cl uh, clarification uh, clarifications needed uh, for these two written notes. But let me point to you. So these two written notes, one is about inferring classes and methods from JUnit tests. So this will be extra important because this will be the format for the programming tests for your 
2030 throughout the semester. Okay, and the second one will be declaring and manip manipulating reference types, multi-value attributes. Specifically, we are talking about the primitive array notation in Java. So this will be a good time for you to actually review or to learn it. How, uh, where can you get uh, these two written notes? Again, go back to 2030 website, and you will see under require written notes section, you can download these two notes. I will refer to these two notes again when we get to the later part of the tutorial series, when we get, uh, get to develop the actual code. Okay, so the next one will be optional, which I already just mentioned. Uh, this will be the background slides on elementary programming, conditionals, and loops. You can refer to them and also the relevant lecture recordings if you uh, if that's needed, right? Always don't, uh, don't be shy to really review the basics. basics if you find that your foundation may not be so stable. It's always good to catch up right now. Okay, the next one is also optional, but I would say even though it's optional, it's highly recommended that you actually try to refer to parts of them, which will be the tutorial series I created for EECS 1022 in the past winter, winter 2021. Okay, uh, this series has been very carefully designed and carefully recorded. So I think for those of you who actually want to see maybe more examples and more explanation and clarification of the common mistakes for the basics, especially for OOP, you can also refer to the relevant parts. So here I'll just give you a little bit breakdown. Uh, let me just refer to you, uh, the how to find the tutorial series first of all. Again, go back to 2030 site, and then you will see under the background study, go under tutorials. And then you can see this is the link for the, tutor to, uh, the tutorial page. If you go there, you can see the weekly breakdown is exactly over here. Of course, you are not expected to study them if you wish over a day. It's not possible. You may just want to plan your time to study them maybe uh, throughout the first two or three weeks of the semester for 2030. That'll be the best preparation before we get to the more advanced stuff. For OOP, and also you got the uh, iPad notes, which we, uh, which is uh, contains all the handwritten notes I I actually wrote uh, inside the tutorial videos, right? So that's a link for you. Let me just go back to here and let me just point you specifically the weekly breakdown quickly. Okay, so here we got uh, week number one. It will be about the Eclipse work environments, and also for week number two, specifically C, D, and E. These three parts. It introduced to you about the idea of debugger on Eclipse. I wouldn't uh, really uh, review the uh, basic details of debugger in the current tutorial series. I will, I will still again show you how to use it. However, if you really want to review about the basics of debugger, for example, what does it really mean to be step over? And what does it really mean to say step into? And also what does it really mean to say step out? And these basics were actually explained uh, thoroughly in the uh, these three parts. So I would recommend if you haven't used any debugger before in your first year, please uh, review them. That'll be beneficial to you. And then you got other weeks, which will be uh, week uh, conditionals, loops and arrays, OOP, especially six, seven, and eight, and also two D array, and also. Uh, Java API for array list and hash table. So these concepts might be used later in the uh, 2030 uh, later weeks. All right. Finally, I would like to point to you this another optional resources, it's, which is for uh, good practice uh, software management using GitHub. So you can also refer to it's a tutorial. This is not required for 2030, but I highly recommend you actually try it. If you got any issue of setting up the GitHub, uh, repository for storing your work, you can get in touch with me, I'll try to help you. But it's really important for you to remember, whatever work you store for 2030, especially for your laboratory exercises, which are meant to be individual work, you cannot make them public. It's considered as a violating the academic honesty policy. So please make sure you use a private repository to store all your work for 2030. So where can you find the uh, resources for GitHub? Again, go back to 2030 uh, website, and then you can see the op, uh, managing your software projects using GitHub. If you click on that, that is uh, some YouTube uh, playlist over here that you can study for, okay? You can also uh, set it up. I think uh, it's really a good experience for you. Okay, so that's about all the resources you can make use of. Uh, the ones I highlighted in green are the optional ones. And the ones I highlighted in 
pink over here are the uh, mandatory ones. You definitely have to study them. Otherwise, you would get lost very easily for the uh, for the course. And this orange one, even though it's optional, but I highly recommend you at least try to find a relevant part that may be applicable to you for your learning. All right. To conclude this uh, current video, I would like to give you some tips about studying this uh, tutorial series. Now that you're gonna uh, you're going to dedicate some time uh, in the first two weeks, I would suggest you follow the following principle. So let's say number one, you have to type with me because I'm going to type from scratch, creating everything from scratch in the Eclipse. You want to type with me and make sure I understand almost every single detail I try to explain to you. And also pay extra attention to visualization, tracing, and debugger. These are very, very important for your problem solving in Java. Well, it's also transferable scale to other programming languages as well. So I would say pay special attention to these three things I do always. And if you really find that you, you need to uh, think about the details I explained in the video, feel free to pause. It might take a little bit more time than if you continuously uh, just watch the video, but I think it's worth uh, the pause for sure. And you can definitely replay if necessary. All the videos are there. They wouldn't be removed. So I would say if you really need to replay and watch the uh, illustration again, uh, don't be shy to do so. Okay. And also you will be required to submit the code that I type in the tutorial videos verbatim. So please make sure you watch out the spellings for uh, the classes and the methods, because otherwise you, you might fail some uh, uh, starter or grading tests uh, that will actually affect your mark for your uh, lab zero. All right, so that's about all the resources and the advice I have for you for this uh, tutorial series. Starting for the next video, we'll start developing some exciting uh, object-oriented programming projects on Eclipse.